Zoom bombers are entering in Zoom meetings and causing all kinds of problems by sharing things they shouldn't be sharing. So I'm going to show you how to secure your Zoom meeting in just a couple of minutes. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we have a password for our meeting. So if we click on host a meeting, we don't get that option to create a password. So what you got to do is click on schedule a meeting. Now it's not that much more complicated, just a couple extra buttons that we got to push. So I click schedule and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose the time and date if it's not going to be right at this minute. But if it's going to be at this exact time, then you don't have to set any of that. So one thing you can do is you can click that the users need to register. The second thing we need to do is to require a meeting password. So the meeting password is something that you're going to share with those users in a private email rather than posting on social media. And it's really not a good idea to post a meeting on social media at all. Private email is really the way to go. An even more secure way to do this would be to send out the meeting through private email, but text the password that you see here or any password that you type in. And that way you'll have two different locations to where the information is that they need in order to get onto the meeting. Another thing I like to do is to mute the participants upon entry. So that way they can't start yelling or screaming or talking. And, and in general, it's just annoying to have people's sounds in the background get in, even if they are legitimate participants. You can also enable a waiting room. So the users, when they first get in, before you let them into the actual participation room, will go to a holding area where they cannot communicate with other people. And then you decide who actually gets into the meeting or not when it's time to start the meeting. And another option is going to be to allow only authenticated users to join the meeting. So if they don't have a Zoom account, then they're not going to be able to get in at all. That means they're not going to be allowed to get in just as plain guests. And it's a good idea to set up your alternative hosts because what we're going to do in once we create this meeting is we're going to make sure that only hosts can share anything. So ahead of time, make sure that you put in the email addresses of the users that may be sharing their screens. So I'll click save and I'm going to click on start this meeting. You can send off the link that it showed after clicking save or you can share using what you're going to see in just a second. Now you can decide between computer, audio, and phone call. It's up to you. So here's our invitation right here. You could copy this and then you could send this off to users in email if you did not do that ahead of time. And don't forget to send them the password as well. And now that we're in our Zoom meeting, I want to minimize who it is that can share their screen. So if I click this little up arrow, next to my meeting and choose advanced sharing options, then I can choose who can participate in sharing. So make sure that only the host is able to participate in sharing, not all participants. So once we set only the host to be able to share, we can close the box. And now we've got a password. We've got only the hosts can share. We've got a waiting room for our users. We've got all different kinds of security protections in order to keep Zoom bombers out of your Zoom meeting. So only people who should be there are actually there and can share their screens if needed. So that's how you secure a Zoom meeting.